G'day everyone, hope you're well. Going to have a look at, again, something a bit different. So this is from Modelsvit, it's the 172nd scale Bereave 12PS. Now this kit has been boxed five times, it was first tooled in 2015. This particular boxing I have here is the second release they did. And it's limited edition, but I can't tell you why that is at the moment. Uh, by the looks of it, there's we got one, two, three, four, five, six schemes going by the box art. This aircraft fascinates me. I don't know whether to call it ugly or beautiful. And it's this is some a kit I've wanted. For a long, long time, I've sort of eyed it off. I thought, will I, won't I, will I, won't I? And I finally did. Alright, so we have paint callouts in Humbrol, which is the same callout for the last review I just did, which will be up before this one, which was the Antonov uh, AN22. From A and A models, so I'm starting to wonder if these guys are in the same shed. All right, what's going on here? That's taped. I'll get that off without ripping everything. Hopefully, I don't like that idea. Alright, so, your sprue trees, over three pages on this one, okay, so, as per most builds, we're starting in the cockpit, uh, seats together, so several parts of each seat, uh, center console, instrument panel, the main instrument panel, yokes, foot pedals, Floor. I got another section here. Where's that going? Interesting. Oh well. Continue on. I'm wandering off. Uh, our wheels straight up going together. Uh, looks like a exhaust or intake, and I actually have full length intake on it. So you got the two engines, uh, rudder, tail section assembly, it's Stabilizers, uh, wings, you got some clear parts going in the wing lights. And we're into <laughs> landing gear, oh my goodness. It's like, take a step back and I'll slow down and have a look. It's very busy going on there. Uh, so then once your wings are together, we got the nacelles going on and the floats going on as well. And back, it's very odd how they're doing this. So we started with the cockpit, we left the cockpit, and we're doing some wings and some wheels, and then we're coming back to the fuselage and doing some more on the cockpit. So again, quite busy, heap parts going in, heaps of clear parts. I'd be looking at how good they look as to whether I use I would use them or just use crystal clear to fill the window in. Ah, uh, we got the tail wheel assembly there. So we are we or are we not given options? It doesn't look like you give an option to have 
the wheels up on the water setting, but uh, you could probably do it. I just, some kits give you uh, an option through the build to do wheels up, wheels down, like Airfix. Uh, I went to the nose, so we got the uh, all the cockpit area going in now, and the other piece which was confusing me early on. Uh, nose, canopy. I don't like the look of that. If that's three clear parts being glued together like that, that's uh, a bit dangerous. <laughs> but hey ho, that's the way it goes. Uh, and then we got some pieces going around the fuselage for the the seaplane part of it for buoyancy and floating. Uh, so nose, canopy and tail boom going on and then we're back adding some more parts for the landing gear. That is really complex gear. Uh, doors for the tail gear and then you're putting in the propellers and some uh, yeah, all the lumps and bumps, antenna, air scoops, uh, radar or whatever else is going on there. Alright, okay, so the box showed all those different schemes. But there is two on the instructions. So Ukrainian number four, Ukrainian Navy, and the USSR Navy number 32. Okay. So I'm not sure why they showed all the other ones. On the box. Oh my goodness, they're confusing me more. Alright, anyway, I like the Ukrainian one with the big naval flag on the nose. And I like the Ukrainian mark as well, the yellow and blue. And the Russian one is a darker grey. Again, the scheme. Colours will be called out in Humbrol. All right. So the decals are very, very flat, but they all look nice and register, no problems. So you can see how flat they are, there's no reflection. bag which has uh, clear parts and so you get actual rubber tires and I'm guessing that will be there we go so we have a little bit of photo etch. I'm just guessing this is the limited edition part of the kit and a mask set, which is nice because it's a lot of small windows there. All right. Yes, so this is what I feared. Again, this is like the last kit I did is a bit clear parts, a bit on the limited run side of kits they would need a 
or I would give them a dip in clear just to get them a bit better. And this is what I meant. So this main canopy section is all clear part. So when gluing the side pieces to the main section, you can be really careful. You don't get glue running off. And of course you could glue it with white glue, but it's not going to be a real strong bond for an area like that. And of course, like, there's only going to be those windows that you will see when it's all said and done for the, if the glass clear section's a bit frosty looking in places. Okay. So no river detail. Uh, a bit of small bit of detail on the nose section for the cockpit area, ribbing on the fuselage wall. The other side. Again, all the panel lines are there. If you want to add rivet details, there's no problem. Just get out the old rivet wheel. Okay, let's push that there in a minute. So this is the obviously the center section of the wing. And we got the tail section of the fuselage. Grab them as I go. So we got the, the tail area, we got the boom, tail boom. Should have the sonar. There should be two of these. Oh no, sorry. They are both on there. I was thinking of the intake. Engine cells, the wing section and the float section. The rudder vertical stabilizer section. and bottoms and see other section so again as mentioned in the last build this is limited run style so you're in for a bit of work but the subject matter, who else is making this kit in this scale. Uh, spinner and the front of the engine the cell. So I should have two repeats there. Yes. Okay. Going to the so you got some of the antenna air scoops and whatnot there and also cockpit parts landing gear oh my goodness there's heaps going on there uh, interior Some more interior. Yeah. 
hand, last piece, uh, tile wheel section, and some more of the engine by the looks of it. Oh no, sorry, your uh, wheel hubs. Right. Sorry, I got a bit zoned out at the beginning of that one. It's got a bit confusing for me the way they've done it. Uh, add some photos now of the parts so you can get a close look at them. This is why the, that scheme was beautiful with the weathering in the paint. Very nice. Alright, so I'm going to add some photos now. Thank you for watching.